Hi everyone. This video is, I'd say, now two weeks in the making. I apologize that my last video was so long, but once you see this, you will see that we were in the NICU with baby A three days after she came home. And um, this video takes you through that journey. Today, two weeks later, she is still in the hospital. However, she is not in the NICU any longer. Um, and we kind of end things in the video that way. So again, I'm sorry it took me so long, but obviously I have been spending every day at the hospital with her, but you'll see that in this video. Okay, let's get started. so tired. So if you haven't watched the last video, go back and watch it about the arrival of baby A. It's been a wonderful first couple days. Um, and also whoever, okay, we'll get back to that later. Um, but however, um, starting, so she arrived on Friday last week, today's Thursday. Starting on Tuesday, she started having an implication. Um, I'm not gonna share what it was. Just know that it was serious enough that I had to call 911. And when I did, we went to the emergency room here and um they couldn't figure it out uh it was a smaller hospital that we went to and they just were not prepared for infants and they couldn't figure anything out it was very frustrating we were there for about four or five hours and then i uh, came home thankfully my friend uh, my friend amy was willing to watch baby r Amy, you guys have seen in some other videos at Starbucks, like, she's a great friend. Um, she lives, like, down the street from me. So she picks him up on Tuesday, watches him for a very, very long time, and then um, we come home. We're here, and it's literally, like, um, 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe 2.20, and... Baby R wasn't feeling the best. So he's up and he's coughing a little bit. I give him a COVID test, negative. Call his doctor, the on call. She said, it's probably this, do this. I said, okay. But he wanted me to hold him. He did not want to be by himself. So by the time it's like, yeah, it's like 2.20 and I'm in the bedroom the baby is right out here in the bassinet. And I was in the bedroom because I wanted to rock baby R to sleep. So I laid on the bed with him on me because lately he's not been wanting to fall asleep unless he's laying on me. And um, I, hear, I hear her doing something in the living room and I come in and I see something happening. Again, I'm gonna be very vague. Um, and I was like, oh damn, here we go again. So I call 911 on the ALA, ALEXA, EXA, ECHL. There we go. I've been up for a long time. <laughs> um, and they, they get here and take her I said, take her to the emergency room again. I'm gonna get baby R together and we'll meet you at the emergency room. <laughs> we get there and it was like game on. They, they admitted her this time and um, from 2.30 till 5 a.m. we were back in the hospital. This is on the same day on Tuesday. So the afternoon and then the middle of the night. <laughs> They were like, well, we don't have the, we don't have what we can do here. Um, we don't have what we need here at this hospital. We have to transfer her, said Children's Hospital. We're not going anywhere else but Children's Hospital um, in Hollywood, C-H-A-L-A. 
um, CHLA, I'm sorry. And uh, 5 a.m., you know, my friend Amy, in the middle of the night, it was like four, she comes to pick him up, uh, baby R. She comes back here, I give her my keys, I give her my car, because her car is like in the, in the shop right now. I give her my car, I give her my keys, say just go wherever, your house, my house, I don't care. Um, and 5 a.m., me, baby A, and a bunch of hospital people are in an ambulance riding from around here to the Children's Hospital. They have this huge contraption, I'll put on the screen, huge thing that she's in, in the ambulance, and it's like a whole hospital in this thing. It's crazy. Um, and they, they, uh, we get there, they admit her in, I mean, all kinds of stuff, just IVs and things and oxygen and all kinds of stuff, EEGs, they do spinal taps, they do all these things. And it's really hard to watch. Like this baby is eight days old at this time. <laughs> really, really hard to watch. And um, so they admit her and then by the time, I don't even know when things slowed down. They, but they slowed down sometime in the middle of the day. I remember finding out that I had been awake for almost 30 hours with a 20 minute nap. And that's when things were slowing down. Um, and now fast forward, today is Thursday. Baby R is nine months old today. So there's this, just like this bitterness and this sweetness. <laughs> Um, and how do you how do you give both of them what they need in those moments and be excited for him but know this other thing is going on? Last night I came home, slept. Amy had him all day. Uh, right now it is six seven, almost eight o'clock. Uh, I'm almost done getting ready. I've got some stuff to get together for her. She's still in the NICU um, and. Um, get baby R together. Two friends from church are gonna split the day and watch him. I'm gonna go back to children's for the day and then I'll pick him back up in the afternoon and we'll have the evening here. Um, but my goodness, like just, just. You will not see her in this video or any videos um, at the hospital. I'm not gonna be filming the NICU, like that's not happening. Um, but I'm gonna update throughout this video of where things are, how things are going. Um, this place is a mess. Oh my God. Like seriously guys, I it was a mess when Amy came here and then I came home and I tried to clean and I couldn't and then it was a bigger mess. It's just a mess. We got this dude dressed, right? Who's nine months old today? Who is nine months old today? Is it you? Is it you? Is it? I mean, I want you to laugh, not focus on that camera. This boy, he he knows the camera like none other. Okay, so um, we're gonna get dressed. We're gonna leave. <laughs> we're going to Starbucks. I need Starbucks. We gotta go to the hospital here because I forgot something there that I gotta pick up and I'm gonna drop him off. I have my uh, friends, and then I'm gonna go down to the hospital. <laughs> let's let's start this. Let's just go. I love you. Mm -hmm. Happy nine month. <laughs> Happy nine month. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should give you nine kisses since it's your nine month birthday. <laughs> such a dork all right guys okay so whomever bought these for her from carter's thank you i think it might have been Kristen. i'm not i'm not sure but um first off if you guys ever buy anything <laughs> let me know because <laughs> i get stuff sometimes this is it's just really cute love is everything and i'm a huge love lover these hearts it's so interesting to get like little girl stuff little ba uh, bathing suit uh, pajamas. Sorry about the sunlight over there. Oh, 
love this one. You know, and it was just really nice to like get these. Like I saw them yesterday in the mail and it was cool because, um, well, they like, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, she made it through NICU. She's, she's coming home and you have these things to look forward to. He's talking about in there. Um, but they also said I could uh, could bring clothes and stuff. Like right now, she's not dressed. She's like in a bunch of stuff, bunch of, she's, I don't know, wrapped up. And um, they were like, bring clothes and stuff and I put it in the drawer there. Cause they have like this bed that, you know, I could sleep on through the day and night if I want. Um, and there's some drawers and they bring it there. Um, that way when they start dressing her, her stuff's here and stuff like that. So trying to get this bag together of, the stuff I have for her. I just love this. Look at the supreme thing. Oh, it's so cute. It's cute. Um, and I had some more somewhere that just like disappeared. Oh, here they are. They were like on the floor last night. I didn't even understand. I probably dropped them there because I was exhausted. So, okay guys. I could get dressed, get done. Not get dressed, get done and get him to my friends, and then get on the road. Not that it's far, it's not far. <laughs> Bye. We are here, the best care in California, Children's Hospital, Los Angeles. So, um, we just arrived. So I, CHLA is literally, um, I think they say it's the number one children's hospital in SoCal. You get this ticket um, and I mean, they just don't play. Like, honestly, like, when they did the transfer from the other hospital to to here, they came in with this huge thing. It, it was just huge. But um, I'm gonna park, I just talked to, I just dropped baby R off. And he's in this weird, not weird, he's in this like phase, he just turned nine months old today, the 21st. He's in this phase where he, like I'll give him a kiss goodbye and, and he'll kiss me back, he'll go, like that it's so cute and he's acknowledging that could this help if i turn that yeah he's acknowledging that um i'm leaving when i do that and immediately he starts crying and now of course guys like it's endearing it's like oh he wants me to stay it's like ah oh. but it's also kind of just like sad because you know he's crying and and even though he's like with friends like the people from church like he he knows and likes these people but you know he wants to be with me he's also at this point where he just wants me to hold him all the time and not all the time but like if I hand him to someone else he'd rather be in my arms and again I love it um, but you know he's got to learn that you know I'm, I'm stepping away I'll be back you're safe and, and he'll, you know, he'll know I'm returning. Um, so yeah, I dropped him off, talked to my best friend, Joe, about everything going on with baby A and literally the whole church. I mean, everyone's praying for her and, you know, they know the details and um, just, uh, just, um, can we bring you lunch? Can we get you Uber Eats? Can we Venmo you money for food? Just all those little things just mean so much. Um, so yeah, let me get parked and then get inside. Okay, so we are at Children's. I'm not showing anything here. We're in the NICU. Um, this is literally about all I'm showing. Super private. Um, we just did what's called rounds, um, where all of the doctors and the nurse that's um, helping baby A come in and they do like a morning, this is how she's doing, Are there just basically a rundown of everything they need to do for the day, um, testing and all of that jazz. Um, trying to be very like, make sure I don't, I'm trying to be very protective of her privacy. Um, There's another little baby in this room with us. He's so tiny, really, really cute. And he's doing well, which is nice. I talked to his mother the other day. He's really, really, really premature, she said. I think he's been here for like four months. 
He's so cute. Um, so right now I am getting some of her clothes folded right here uh, because they told me, so we got, this is what someone sent us, all these clothes that they sent us, I'm putting away. Um, they have this bed for, you know, I made up so I can sleep and whatnot. And then there's like these drawers underneath. And they said that when she's able to be dressed, because right now she's in the diaper and got all of this stuff on her. Once she's doing well, they'll remove everything and then they'll start dressing her while, while she's here. And they were like, bring in things. Um, hold on. You okay, baby? Oh, the pacifier. There we go. There we go. There we go. She loves that pacifier. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, once they start dressing her, um, we'll be we'll have the clothes for her to wear, and um, that's about it for right now. I'm gonna go get some food downstairs soon. She's doing really well for where she's at, um, and that makes me feel good. All right, I'm gonna go. I need to eat and give her this pacifier. All right, guys. Okay, so I am getting some much needed coffee it has been quite the ride let me get this coffee and i'll update y'all on where things are at. i took a little bit of a nap uh got an update on baby girl um hey, let me let me get this coffee and i'll, I'll update y'all okay so i got my coffee i'm sitting outside at children's um Like I said, things are trending in a good way. Um, it does feel really nice out here. I feel like I've been inside for so long. Hmm. I got here this morning and they do a, um, they do rounds. They gave me, they like update all the doctors and nurses. So they know what they're talking and doing for the day. A lot of like medical jargon. I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, but then they always ask me, do I have any questions? And I was able to ask, how is she doing? Uh, how do they think things are going as far as all the results are back and tests are back for all their testing that they have to do? <laughs> Sorry about those helicopters, but we are in the middle of Hollywood. Um, they told me what they think. They said they think they tell me what they think is going on, um, and which I don't feel comfortable sharing. But the, the point of all of this is she's doing well. Um, and we and things are going in the right direction. Um, I, I think this is gonna be a minimum of two weeks. But at one point they told me it could be four weeks. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We're looking at this beautiful little bird. Where is it at? Where is the bird? Let me see. Right. Oh, there she is. Right there. <laughs> and then I was just thinking about how you would go into this uh, NICU and the um, just like You think like this process of you know fostering, foster to adopt has taught me so much. It's shown me how many because as you talk more about this, your community grows. You meet more foster parents, more people doing different types of parent parenting and things like that. And I've learned so much about how so many first off women struggle to get pregnant. So many people have miscarriages. So many people have these like failed IVF. Um, treatments and 
like parenting becoming a parent is not easy anyway i so many people have adoption stories that went wrong foster to adopt stories that just didn't work out there is no one way like legitimately at all and no one way is easier than the other so i walk into the nicu and there are so many babies and I, you can't I, I didn't you know they're all in rooms and i didn't i'm not gonna like peek in and like look but you just hear the beep 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 everywhere and there's nurses and doctors all around and the first thing i think of is like wow so many parents have these babies and they come into this world in a way that is unexpected. We, I think like we often think, oh, you have a baby and they're cute and fluffy and on a dandelion surfing into the world. And like for more people than I think we even realize, that's not the case. You know, babies come in and they're, they have some complications at birth and they're here for weeks or months, you know? Um, just puts a lot into perspective. So, but like I said, she's doing well. Um, I haven't even drank any of the coffee I got. And um, it's hard because I can't have coffee in the NICU. So I like get this big thing and I only drink a little bit of it before I have to like, I don't throw it out, I just put it aside and then it gets cold and I don't wanna drink it. The other day, I, I've just been up so much and I'm so grateful to everyone who has uh, helped baby R personally watching him. If you don't know, uh, foster care in Los Angeles County, they do have emergency daycare. They're required to get set up within 48 hours. Um, and so, um, so, I'm starting that process so that next week I'll be able to put him in daycare and um, rather than having to find sitters every day. And then while she's here, I'll have him going to daycare during the day and I can come here, I can work from here. Um, and if I have to go like show a house, I can go do that. Um, so I'm gonna pretty much be here during the days and um, head out at night, pick up baby R and you know, have our evening until she's, until she's back in the home. Um, I have met a uh, maternal grandma. She's very nice, very concerned, very, you know, it's her granddaughter and she just wants to make sure she's okay. So it's really sweet. Um, yeah, that's it for now. That is it for now. Catch you guys in the next video clip. <laughs> you're opening your eyes now so much it's so pretty isn't it i'm gonna pick you up now okay <clears throat> so that's where we're at we are in the regular inpatient we have this gorgeous view of los angeles <sighs> thanks for staying around everyone thanks for all the support Instagram has been truly, truly supportive, and yeah, it means a lot. And thanks for being patient for this video. I love you all. Bye.